In this video, I'm going to be going over the installation of the ADD W1 oil catch can when you're running engine intakes. Now, out of the box, the dual inlet catch can isn't compatible with the engine intakes. And this is mainly due to the driver's side engine intake, they where they located the intake outlet bung is different from the stock and the other aftermarket intakes. Take for instance here on the instructions, the angle of the intake outlet is vastly different than the bung on the engine intake. So I had to get creative and I had to route the hose differently. Here's a shot of the crankcase vent line that I rerouted and this is just a proof of concept to see if the engine cover would still fit on top of it. So the first thing I did was I went to O'Reilly's and I bought a new breather with a 5 8 to 1 half inch reducer straight barb and I'll show you how this comes into play in a minute but basically you have to do this method if you have engine intakes. Okay so here is my catch can fully installed still looks extremely stock the only giveaways are the catch can itself which I have managed to tuck away nice and clean and the new breather all right so let's peel up the cover and see what we got going on under here okay so the way that I routed this was of course coming off of the PCV valve this line goes in connects in the very back back here and then this line on the outlet comes down one-way check valve pointing away from the can and then comes up into the intake. The other line is where I was having issues because I have the engine intakes and they have the intake outlet in a different place. Like the stock ones have it down here, the engine ones have it right here. So I had to redo it, kind of had to reconfigure, engineer some solutions here. So the line goes down, one-way check valve, around the back of the engine and then it comes up over and connects into the original crankcase valve line okay the breather connects in the stock location originally this was connected to this however now I've got this line snaking around and down into a breather and uh and put your zip tie around the actual supports instead of this rail. But yeah, that's uh, that's the dual inlet uh, catch can with the engine intakes. Hope you guys found this helpful. Um, I'll put links in the description to anything I used custom. And I appreciate you guys watching. One thing I really liked about this catch can was the fact that the dipstick is up here. You just unscrew this. Pull it up. And you can see how much is in there. The other thing that I really liked is that the actual can untwists like a actual oil filter. Comes right out. Obviously, I just installed mine, so there's nothing in it. But super easy, well-engineered design. And I'm really hoping that it saves me on maintenance in the long run. And here's a shot of the finished product with everything routed. Uh, we'll take these one at a time. So the blue line represents the intake outlet hose that you have to run. And... You can see that I've utilized the stock piping to the engine intake. The yellow line represents the new path that the breather hose will take. And as you can see, the breather is just zip tied to one of the supports. And it comes out right under the engine intake. Still kind of toying with where I want to put the breather, but for now, I think under the intake's a decent, decent location. The pink line represents the hose path 
from the catch can to the intake. And basically you have the same one-way check valve uh, that the blue line had, and it's kind of just tucked back in there. The orange line represents the smallest of the hoses that connects to the PCV valve. So basically you just run it into the side of the catch can and to the PCV valve on the back of the engine. It's a little lower and further back, but it's, it's fairly easy to get to.